Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again. We're going to go as Mammon this time and try and get some unlocks as the swiney boy that he is. I, vanilla Mammon tends to be a little tricky. Um, I tend to not have a great time as him. Mainly because my luck with those little buggers is absolutely abysmal normally. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'd like that penny, thank you. Uh, and also my, my penny drop luck is normally pretty abysmal too. Oh dude. I was trying to destroy this thing so that I could get some kills there, but it didn't really work out. But yeah, normally my luck is really abysmal, but so far, so good. I, I don't like you guys bouncing these shots around, please. Could you not, my guys? Could you not? But anyways, hey, do, do you know what? My money luck so far has been really good. But yeah, we'll try and play these guys out. I tend to just get really unlucky with them um, in terms of what they drop me because basically... Um, they can give you spiders and flies, and a, a very, very low amount of spiders and flies, I will add. Um, and they tend to do that quite a lot for me, so... Oh, dude, get, game, can you, c can you, can you chill the hell out, my guy? Can you chill the hell out? Um, for each reference item... It gives us some damage already, because it's a reference itself. So I think I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this. Uh, as for the question of the day to day, um, hmm, hmm, what's your favourite type of fiction? What, what, what's like? Do you really like sci-fi or like history or what, what's what's your go-to uh, type of sort of fiction to to read or watch? I think it changes pretty drastically for everyone. I'm not letting that coin get away, man. Not letting it happen keep my black heart but yeah the coins are coming in pretty hot and loose here uh which is not normal again not letting that coin get away don't care if i take damage for it i need the ability to play uh play this dude and get some stuff we also get our piggies in here i still don't really know what's the deal with the pigs and using meat grinder there's something i can do with it but i i, I can never remember what it is um right play this guy so, so far, he's been a bit of a dick, and he's given me just trinkets. Okay. Some stats, finally, but... Realistically, not very good stats. They also... One one great thing they did with this character is they nerfed him pretty heavily. Uh, they, they made it so that you can no longer bomb um, the little swine beggars to get a guaranteed stat capsule. It can give you one, but it's not always going to anymore. Uh, and I feel like that's an absolutely gargantuan nerf to this guy, so we'll have to see how that pans out. But yeah, you can see so far we spent, like, what, we're getting up for 20 cent now? Um, we're getting up for 20 cent now that we spent on this guy, and so far we've had two trinkets um, and some shot speed, so we'll see if he gives, gives us an item. Oh ho ho, okay, so I'm a little more happy now, because not only did he give us an item, he gave us one that is absolutely fantastic. Also, I think I can do this now. That's not what I meant to do at all. Surprised I didn't kill the, the, the little dude. Yeah, that was good. I, I, I was hoping to get soul hearts there, but obviously I had a free hit there, so I just decided to smush myself. I was, I was thinking I was going to get soul hearts, but damage and fire rate is not bad at all. Not bad at all. We're in a pretty decent position here, and like I said, we actually got an item which I'm really happy about, and it was a really goddamn good one. Um, in terms of this, we can we can pretty much go anywhere and do anything here, because we've got the whole thing open. I guess we go regular path, try and do boss rush, and then do dark path or something. That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, you need to calm the hell down. Good, good. And yeah, I'm hoping for just more and more pennies here. More and more pennies will be good. More bombs as well to bomb the fools when we get the opportunity. Like I said, they don't guarantee drop stat capsules anymore, but they still do drop good stuff, so... Still useful nonetheless. Thank you. But yeah, just hoping for as much money as we can possibly get. I'm really, really happy with our current fire rate, I've got to say. That's, that's put me in a good mood, at least. Hey, speed up is nice there. I wonder if there's more chance of those dropping as this character. I doubt it, but that'd be nice. A nice little bonus. Well, that's also pretty darn good. World card here, I'm just going to pop. 
Uh, we're going to put you here. Got to be careful because it does hurt you every time you use those. See, that's what we need right there. That's what we need right there. Beautiful stuff. This is the sort of thing that this, this character has been missing. My god. Okay. Careful for the jumpy fuckers. I know you're about here somewhere. There you are. No penny, though? No penny? How dare you? I deserve penny. Can I... Oh, bugger. Can I farm uh, money off of those guys? I don't think I can, can I? Okay, let's pop two coins into you and see what you give me. See that? That, that... I've, I've, I've complained about it too much already. But that is absolutely unforgivable. I got one spider and one fly for five cent. It's never ever going to be a deal that I want to be taking. See, now I could gamble on this, but... I don't know, my chances aren't that great there. Come on, give us a bomb please, game. Give us a bomb. Dude, really? No bomb? That's annoying. I guess I could buy one? Nope. I guess I can't. Right. Let's play this fool and be disappointed immensely. Come on. Give me my disappointment. There you go. There's my disappointment. Ooh, some more? Oh no, we actually got an item this time around. It's a good one too. Havoc Vault is risky but fun. Uh, yeah, so, a bit annoyed we didn't get a bomb there. That's a little bit annoying, but we at least got an item out of that guy finally. It's just like, items on average should cost 15 cent from those dudes. Like, <laughs> 5 cent over or 5 cent under would be nice, but not putting in 25 cent to get spiders and flies and nothing else. Yeah, Havoc Vault here. Good stuff. That allows us to get some more consumables, potentially some more items and all that good jazz. Very, very, very good here. And we'll go down to the next floor. Ooh, and we got more damage because it's a reference. How much damage are we on from that now? That's pretty good. Right. Down we go. Down we go. I am in a decent place with this run so far. Yeah, more HP makes me happy as well. Yeah, freezing enemies for a short time when we enter rooms is just lovely. Pill I will take. Phantom Pains doesn't really do much for me. I think Phantom Pains triggers multiple times, though. I think it's not just the ones. Try and get the money where I can, but it's not always going to be plausible. Yeah, one of those disappeared. Pills galore. Speed down's fine. Infestation is what it is. Two flies? Can't you give me like 10 or something? At least make it a little more worthwhile for my money. Like, come on. It's just rude the way that it does it. Phantom Pain scared me there. It's just goddamn rude game. Alright, we got our max enemies in our Havoc Vault now. Right, Havoc Vault, away we go. I do not like this situation here. You want to come over here to me? Good, good. And we got ourselves an item out of it. Not a particularly good one, mind you, but it's an item nonetheless. And honestly, I'm going to use my bomb here because our coins basically run our life at the minute. Sadly, there is another uh, thingy of um, bombable stuff there, but ain't much we can do about it. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Why did I have to drop on the creep game? Why'd you gotta do that to me? Excuse me, what the fuck hit me then? Was it one of these flyboys? No, don't goddamn steal my money. There'll be none of that where I'm coming from. Okay, good. 
See, now we could just go to the shop and buy items from the goddamn shop. This is this is my problem. Like, I'm putting all these money into these bloody thieving little bastards. I'm not even really getting good enough stuff out of it. Right, do, do we still have a, a, a piggy boy over here? I can't remember. Do not remember. We do, okay. Just... Dude! <laughs> this character sucks so hard. <laughs> oh my god. I did actually ask the developer if there was any plan to, like, do anything about this character, and they basically just said no. Which is fair, I get that it's probably in the place they want it to be, but it's just upsetting. <laughs> I wish the character was, was better. Right, we got another five cent there. Go all the way back and play this guy one more time. And go all the way back to be extremely disappointed once again. I mean, that's that's the way that this goes, right? Like, th they need to have a minimum payout. Like, I, I shouldn't be able to put fucking 25 cent, 30 cent into one pig and it not give me an item. Like, considering there's no items in item rooms, especially. If there were still items in item rooms, I would have no qualm with it. Wouldn't bother me at all. But the way that the the way that it's designed doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know if people agree with me on this, but yeah. Oh, bugger. It's okay, I've got my free hits. Coins when I can. This is a good thing about Havoc Vault as well, actually. We've got more chance of killing enemies and getting the coins. Oh, what the fuck? That guy shot right at me sideways. Is that a thing they can do? Why is that a thing they can do? Do you want to plop yourself down and be killable, please? There's another enemy about, apparently. Okay. That. That's pretty awesome. Oh, dude. I should have just used Ace of Clubs. Okay. We're saving Ace of Clubs for that next time. We're saving Ace of Clubs to do that next time. That's going to be great. Let's see what we could have bought with our money from the shop, shall we? Play that game of what could we have had. Not much, really. <laughs> that answers our question. Not much. One second. Right, let's keep it moving. Keep it grooving. But yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, get my Havoc Vault ready with 12 extra bombs for me. Oh, dude. Bit mean. Bit bloody rude. My bad. Yeah, take you out. What does this little frail boy around me actually do? Does he just bop enemies out the way and that's pretty much it? That's not very good. Oh, dude. Can I walk into the sky more, please? Angel deal coming our way yet? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Why, why aren't I getting any charges for these rooms that I'm completing, by the way? I've completed two rooms and got zero charges for my vault, vault of Havoc. I'm confused by that. One sec. Right, okay. Let's use this meat grinder. Probably not do anything with it. And hope we can get some charges this time. Good. Double soul heart. Beautiful. And there you go. We actually get some charges now. Oh, that free that brief amount of freeze is super goddamn useful. I do not like that. <laughs> You've uh, caused a problem there. Right, so we go Vault of Havoc. That is not at all what I meant to do. God damn it. It didn't even give me a bomb, it gave me a troll bomb. I'm so fucking annoyed. That was so stupid of me. 
I, it's it's one of the things I have a really hard like issue with. If I have um, if I have a pocket active, I get so goddamn confused on what I'm supposed to be pressing to use which active. I don't know why. It's super easy to remember. It's not like it's a really hard thing or anything, but it just messes with me. Dude, we've got an item every time so far. It's just unfortunate that only one of the items has been any good. <laughs> Right, take you out. Check what our shop is first. Oh, this is good, yep. Fucking bugger off! Stop spawning your sacks of shit! Fuck, fuck off! Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this character just inherently makes me mad. Also, accidentally wasting my goddamn... Uh, my goddamn potential for 12 bombs has annoyed me already. I'm not in, not in the mood for this. Tell you what I'm not in the mood for too. Spending 23 cent on one of these buggers and getting nothing for it. So let's see if that happens. Look upgrade is nice. That's potentially very good. Um... Wait, no it's not. Oh, it's this character it's useless because we don't get items in item rooms. So... Absolutely useless. Great. Thanks for that, buddy. A whole load of naff all. Also, can I just ask, why would I want this many trinkets? I can only hold one. Most characters can only hold one. Why are you giving me trinkets all the time? I don't want that many trinkets. It makes no sense. What the fuck? Um... Um, frail little bitch boy, frail little fly bitch boy just bounced my bomb back at me. So not only is this this familiar relatively useless, it's actually detrimental to me. So that's, that's fun. Actively bad for me. The goddamn thingy there the whole time. Did you shoot me? What is this bullshit? Ah. Dude, I don't need all these goddamn trinkets. I'm mmm. I don't like being a salty boy, but the game calls for it sometimes, I swear. <laughs> Oh, I like to I like to be enthusiastic. I like to be happy go lucky, but this this character drives me up the goddamn bend. He seems to be designed in a way that's I mean, the trinket thing is obviously not specific to this character, that's just annoying for us in general. But this character does seem to be designed in a way to specifically annoy. Where's all my keys? Did I spend all my keys? When when did that happen? Yeah, oh my god. Our our luck with chests as well has been pretty abysmal too. Right, I'm coming back for more disappointment, buddy. I'm coming back for more disappointment. Thank you. <laughs> like items in the shop now flicker as they as though they were tainted Isaac. Items in the shop now cost five cent more. Okay, no, thank you. Like, this is just why. Do you know what? You can have another friend, and you can both die. You pricks, is what you are. Yes, yeah, so you get these little things now, which give you stats for one floor, rather than permanently. So they're terrible. <laughs> oh, my god. Spending that much money. Getting no item. Like, literally, Havoc Vault is kind of sa our saving grace right now. Because otherwise, we'd be getting, like, no items. 
We'd be three items down from where we are by this floor, and that is terrible. And remember as well, one of our items we got from a, from a Tinted Rock, too, so... We'd be in a real rough spot right now if it wasn't for that stuff. Ooh, a, a, a nickel, a dime even, sorry. It's good. Oh my god, the triple shot fuckers, stop it. Oh my god. I'm getting hit. So how, how the hell do I have the, the lifeblood thing and I'm still getting hit this much? This is a terrible. What the... What the dickens? <laughs> Stop giving me just awful items, please. I realise that you're only paying out with boss items. I'm fine with that, but like... There's a lot of good boss items out there. I've got to tell you, there's, there's quite a few that are really good. He seems to be currently actively avoiding them. My god. We're having all the struggle bush runs recently. Now this, this could be a turning point for us. How do these guys work again? I forgot that this was a thing. Heart shape balloons, very, very good. And... I think that's good for us? Yes. Okay. That's decent, but eh, not amazing. I was hoping for something a bit better. But, oh. Right, down we go. Whew. Right, pop this guy down. Oh, look. It's a trinket. I'm going to take this trinket, though. We have a lot of fire right now, which is quite nice. Oh, my God. Dude, this, this, little, this little frail worm is actually, like... Distracting. Yeah, these fires are pretty nice. I'm liking that. I'm taking the free hits. I've taken all my free hits. Maybe spend two keys for a hanged man card? Why? Dude! Every chest! Every single chest in existence! It's just... It's all trinkets! <laughs> like, god damn, I wish I had the smelter or something. Fuck me! It's crazy! Um, that's kind of good. Not really. I'll take it though. Slightly tricky room there, but I understood it. I understood the assignment. I got through it all right. <sighs> right. Braille, boy, stop moving the enemies that I'm trying to shoot, please. Right. This is 30 cent I'm putting into you. Ooh-wee. Thanks for that. An active item. Ceiling with the stars. Uh, yeah, ceiling with the stars seems good. More worthwhile than everything we've been spending our money on so far. Ugh. Ugh. Need some better luck with this freak. Who knows if we're even going to be able to do... Um, well, we're definitely not going to be able to do boss rush because we've missed it. Because this character just inherently takes extra time because you have to go a lot of back and forth. But, um, 
Doing Mega Satan and the like, I don't even know if I'm going to do Mega Satan, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, I've not killed the first angel I saw, so I'm not in a great spot to do it, to be honest. Item rooms are even, aren't even really worth it in this. Good, good. I know I can just press the red button. I should have been doing that the whole time. I can't. I can't contain. I can't contain the contempt I feel for the items. This. This is unjust. I feel. I feel. I feel attacked. Assumption. Oh, dude, really? You managed to get a hit on me there and not die? Is that something you'd call fair? Oh, flying a spider. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some luck. Definitely need that. Oh, a trinket. Oh, oh, whoa. That's mad. A trinket. It's crazy. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Right, who's up next? Ah, oh my god. Give me your item, please. Oh my god. Bernhardt gone. You didn't even give me your item. Big bitch. Big bitch. Get out of the way of that. What are you doing, fella? Good, good. Do not like the prospects of this room. That was good. I'm, I'm being quiet right now, or else the commentary isn't as on point as normal, but I'm trying to contain something primal within me. Oh, dude, really? Like, how do I have three free hits of floor and I'm still nearly dead? <laughs> That's pathetic. Oh, god damn. Secret room, maybe? Beautiful. Just a tiny amount of money, though. That'll go a long way to getting me items, though. Money makes the world go around as mammon. And really get a lot of coinage going. Get a lot of items from all that money. Can't wait to fill my pockets with all the items I'm about to gain. You two, get out of here. Ow. Well, at least I got a soul heart from my heart shaped balloon. Frail boy. Really not the time. There's an invincible freak on me. Two of these guys are invincible and I can't do much about it. Okay, there you go. Now I can do something about it. <sighs> Puberty. My toast is a card again for my golden chests. The golden chests have just been terrible. Good. So you deaded. 
Why are you slightly off center? I don't like that. Ooh, that's a cool attack. Don't know how I managed to dodge it quite so easily, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, HP. Been waiting for that, bad boy. Right. Let's see what item we can get with our 20 cent. I'm so excited to find out. So far, so good. Oh, baby. A worthwhile item for 20 cent. We got 0.1 shot speeder. Value. Such value. Oh, I feel so redeemed. I, like, my, my efforts feel so validated. It's I'm, I'm really glad that I that I played the piggy beggar rather than the shop. I mean, such value. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm salty because this character sucks. <laughs> he needs a massive rework. Just the way that you're meant to play him doesn't work. <laughs> the way that the developers intend for you to play this character is fundamentally broken. <laughs> unless unless the intent is to have very few items and struggle throughout your entire run. Then maybe. But yeah. Mammon's one of those characters that I just... Oh, dude, our golden chest. Okay, that one actually has soul high in it. I won't complain too much. That's another trinket there, though. Honestly, I might have had more trinkets this run than I've had in the past 10 runs combined. Genuinely, I am not joking. Like, if someone wants to count all the trinkets that I've had this run, I mean, honestly, that would be a, a rather large task, so I don't recommend it. But if you want to, go ahead. Um, It would be a lot. I, I swear we must have had at least sort of between 20 and 30 trinkets so far. Extra money. Lovely. What you got for us this time, bad boy? <gasps> An item. My god. It's not a great item, though. My god, I'm gonna go into the Discord once again and complain after this. I always feel bad when I complain to developers, but I feel with this guy it's pretty warranted. Like, he just he's just useless. This item's pretty decent, I guess. The on hit you just turn into an absolute fountain for a very long time. Our health has gotten a lot better though, which is nice. Ooh, hello. That's the sort of shit that needs to be dropping way more often. Boom, boom, bow. I keep getting this room. The frail dude can be useful for, like, pushing enemies into walls and dealing extra damage, but as you see there, it can also just hit me. I mean, I'm happy that I got a planetarium item, but the one that it chose to give me doesn't exactly inspire her. Not particularly happy with Jupiter of all. Of all things. There's the red key. Plop this guy down and give him 26 cents. Let's see, baby. Let's see what we get for that. So far, so good, people. 
Ooh, 0 0.5, de a 0.32 damage up. I mean, it's not, it would normally be 0 0.5, but we've got a damage multiplier down. Yeah, not, not great. <sighs> Still, this, this runs... I don't know why I went in here. This runs not like absolute garbage, though. That's the thing. Like, we are still making our way with this guy. Havoc Vault has definitely been a, a big help. I'm liking a trinket we've currently got as well. That's good. Ooh, all that fire. Beautiful. See, that's the trinket just working its magic. That's what you like to see. Do you know what they need to do with Jupiter? They just need to make it so that your like your farts charge up way faster. Because right now it's just too slow. Fettered heart is a good item. I like fettered heart. Thank you for that at least. We got a nice amount of money here. Another 20 cent for our friend. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? I can't remember where I placed you. Was it in here? Nope. Where the hell did I place this guy? I just gave him a boatload of money. Oh no, I think... Wait, no, the, he gave me a damage up. Well, where the hell was that guy? Why is there not a map icon for these little fuckers? <laughs> I think he was outside the item room, wasn't he? Here he is. So, so far he's had 30 cent. That's 45 cent we've given this guy, and we've gained 0.25 fire rate, 0.5 damage, and a bit of range, which for 45 cent, I would say is pretty awful. <laughs> right, keep it going though. Save our charge for the next floor so we can actually do something with that. Good, good. Ooh, that's kind of nice. We'll take that. Use it now. Why not? Dark path we go. And we'll check out the devil deal because honestly I need some damage. Good. Two active items. That's real. <laughs> it's real lovely, that is. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. We've got a little construction hat on, look. Look at us go. A fettered heart doing us some good there. Baleful heart. Very nice. Fettered Heart with this is actually pretty goddamn amazing. I have Ghost Pepper as well from my uh, Ceiling with the Stars. Okay, okay, now I have to say I, I, can, I can forgive most things at this point because you just gave me Binge Eater. Like, goddamn, that's a insanely good item. Um, I can forgive a little bit now. Binge Eater is, uh, one of the best items in the game, so... I don't... I don't need this many trinkets. I do, however, need stats. Binge affixes all things. Binge affixes all things. Just keep pushing forward. Don't 
Don't know how I haven't been hit yet. There you go, finally. It's kind of good that my fake hits trigger my balloon still. Give me those HP ups, baby. Okay, I'm in a better mood now. The, the game has turned itself around for me, and the items that I'm getting from, uh, from Vault, Vault of Havoc no longer matter, because I'm going to turn them all into food. Everything shall be food. Honestly, I could probably do to play the sack room at this point. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Playing this very risky with my current HP, obviously. I'm thinking this will be potentially worthwhile. Right, 45 cents to give to this guy. I'm hoping for a HP up. Okay, good. Thank you, that heals us up a good amount and gives us good stats. Yay! Okay, I'm happy enough right now, I'm happy enough. Let's just keep her going and hope we can stay alive. Got good money for next time I want to use our thingy. Okay, good, good. Vault of Havoc is almost ready as well. Almost ready indeed. That was close. <laughs> And pop this bad boy. What the hell? Oh, I, st I still have my free hits because the uh, sack room doesn't count against them. Nice. I can't kill you yet. Okay, I'm not liking the closeness of you to me. And we get ourselves some HP up. Lovely. I like it. And we're getting tons of money out of this as well. Well, sometimes tons. And we got 50 cent to spend on our buddy. We're actually starting to get some good value now that we have so much money, but this just isn't regular. Like, I've gotten very lucky here. Oh, dude, this guy's this guy great. What the hell happened to this dude? Dude, this guy's cracked. Still no item, though, but dude, a lot of stat capsules is nice. Finally got an item. See, that dude, that dude's the sort of payouts you want from these guys. That's the sort of thing you're looking for. Ooh, um... I think, I think I just want the HP still, because, like, gulping a trinket's fine, but... It's not another trinket on this floor that I want to take, and... The two soul hearts would, wouldn't be used... Right, one second, let me pause. Right, let's keep this pumping, keep this going. This has been a, a long, long run so far. I knew it was going to be a long, long time. 
Right. And so there's a soul heart in there, but we can't do anything about that. We cannot grab. That was a very quick Havoc Vault. Damn it, our chests, I want them to give us items. But they will not. And you want to give us... Another trinket! Whoa! Right. As I said, Binge Eater absolutely, unequivocally saved this run. This run was pretty doomed before that. Now we've got pretty unlimited healing from just items in general. And then, yeah, our stats are significantly better than they were previously. Right, I'm hoping we just go the right way here, but not always that plausible. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but I just don't care. <laughs> it's not likely to matter. Don't like the fact that you're blocking the way for this dude. There you go. Boom, bow. And this time we get, ooh, look, some more HP. See what I mean? Like, we don't need to worry about <laughs> taking a lot of damage because we can just heal it up via the HP drops that we're getting. And then the stats that we're getting off them are even better. Binge Eater is, in my opinion, one of the best items, if not the best item in the entire game. It's, it's boring. Like, from a run standpoint, it's basically just a high stat run. It doesn't, it doesn't have cool synergies or anything. But in terms of winning you the run, I think even if you get it late like we have here, we got it on the womb, which I'd say is fairly late for Binge Eater, it's still one of the best items in the game because it's almost guaranteed, unless you get it really late, that you're going to get to full red hearts. Almost guaranteed. Um, and then on top of that... Oh my god. Then on top of that, it's um, guaranteed of constant healing and guaranteed of high stats. Beautiful. And then obviously you've got all the other red hearts. It, once you're at full red hearts, it puts devil deals and angel deals in jeopardy, but it makes it so that basically every single time there's a red heart on the floor, you can make use of it somehow. Which is not normal for a run. So yeah, it does it does put your devil deals and stuff in a bit of jeopardy, but I feel like that's a worthy sacrifice for the amount of power you gain. But yeah, definitely, definitely one of the more boring items, but I would still say Binge Eater is probably the best item in the entire game. In terms of absolute power to win a run. I feel like it's very, very hard to lose a run once you have Binge Eater. Like the amount of damage we've been taking and we're still like one one health away from max HP is kind of crazy. Oh no, really? Look at his HP, are you kidding? You literally can't even see the bar, it's that close to being gone. One fucking shot got him. And we're going down, right? Yes, we're going down. Curse of Rebirth is fine. Ooh, we got the tech module item. I love this. Whenever we hit an enemy, tech beams come from both walls and hit them. It's pretty awesome. Oh, we got the D6. Um, I think at this point I will take the D6. Eh, I don't know. Havoc Vault's been a lot, been really good to us though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no to the D6 and rather just take the stats. Havoc Vault's just been so good to us in terms of the amount of items we've gained from it. Like, 
Uh, Binji has been really good and has saved the run, but it's only been able to save the run because Havoc Vault has let it run. Like, because we've just been given so many items. Excuse me, buddy. Good. good. Dude, my frail fucking worm, if you don't chill the fuck out soon, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Hit the golden heart, but otherwise we don't care. Vault of Havoc's just like ready to go all the time. Is there still enemies in this room? What's going on? Okay, they just wanted to chill for a little bit. They wanted to hide for a while. Don't rebirth this prick. <laughs> God damn it. Have to deal with this bastard of a, bo of a boss. Who never gives me the devil item and always gives me the soul heart as well. <gasps> he gave me the item. Again, just take the HP and go. Okay. Speed down? No, thank you. Um, this is potentially useful. Okay, no, it's not. Actually, to be fair, that's still that is still useful. Where on earth is the boss? Must be back over here. God damn it! I'm supposed I was supposed to be leaving the house at twelve today. It is now quarter past twelve. This run has gone on. For way longer than I expected. I mean, to be fair, Vault of Havoc has, has kind of made it that way. Dude, that was insane. I'm going to grab that. The fires have been good, but the red rooms could be more fun. Even though it could make the run take even longer. Oh, bugger off, you two. Where is my boss at? Where's my boss at? Where is my boss at? This is what I mean by all the red rooms. All, all the, the red hearts, sorry, we're able to actually make value out of. These are the worst enemies to rebirth. God damn. Yeah, we got through it. Another red heart. Another Havoc Vault. Good, good. Throw we go again. You want my hearts? Do you know what? You want my hearts? You can have a few. Straight away, he gave us that heart straight back. What a deal. Good, it's the champion version, so there's going to be three of them. No brimstones, though, I think. Oh no, you dealt damage to me. Whatever am I going to do? I think this is like just such a great example of how like reckless you can play when you have um when you have binge eater. Boost the shot. And then we can take every single devil deal, because we can just ch change them all into HP.
Oh look, HP. Oh look, HP. Oh look, HP. Oh look, HP. Oh look, it's Mum's knife. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to take Mum's knife in this situation? Probably. <laughs> we do have ten luck currently as well. Somehow, I don't. I think Binge Eater has just given us a ton of luck, so hopefully we can get some chests, which guess what? We'll have HP in it. Crazy, I know. Look, it's HP. Yeah, Mum's Knife was a good pick here. Oh look, it's HP. Oh look at that. It's HP. Who needs anything other than HP? Oh no, I took damage. Oh, there you go. It's healed up again. Doesn't matter. Oh, really? Gonna give me a boss that I have to, like, work for? Why make me do this? Play the hell out of this guy. Dude, the, the ones that give you tons of, tons of stat capsules, got no problem with them bad boys. Good old bit of HP there. Hey, lamb. Lovely. Ooh, Eye of Balor is really good. Right, Mega Certain, we're on our way. Wonder what happens if I activate um, Havoc Vault while I'm fighting Mega Certain. Probably nothing good. How did? How are you not dead? There you go, dude. Die. All that for a penny. I'm trying to get chests here, boy. Ooh, now this I will take. Booster box is goddamn incredible. On kills, we can trigger cards. Those cards can have permanent effects that last for the entire fight with Mega Certain, so why the hell not? The world and the stars. I, th I don't think you can teleport, uh, activate teleport cards while you're in big bosses either, so that's nice. Good. Where my chests at? Come on now. Oh, I'm loving, uh, what's it called? Fettered Heart. Fettered Heart just means we're killing most things in one go if they're fettered. Oh, dude. No chesties. Go just a chill ass Hierophant there. Not that we need it, but thank you. We could activate a few lovers cards for us in the fight. Give us some health if we need it. Activate devil cards, all that good stuff. It's just insanely good. It does have diminishing returns. Still, it's really good. Dude, didn't get a chest for a little while there. We got two last rooms to go. The sun doesn't do much for us, I don't think, but I'll take it. Actually, to be fair, the sun is a full heal, so it at least uh, saves it saves of it saves, a, it saves us if things go really wrong, which I doubt they will. But you never know. 
Give us that heart back just in case. Not even going to do the last room. No, I will, I will, I will. I thought I was going to just leave it, but then what if one more HP upgrade? Ah, bugger. Right. Through we go. This should be pretty easy. Oh no, you popped my balloon. How dare you. Your hands are dead. Lots of extra money here. Not, not, not that we need it. No cards popped yet. There's still time. There's still time. Oh, dude. Stop. This guy's going to be a little trickier just because you can't be super accurate with killing all the bits at once. We'll get there, though. Yeah, now that we have a sun card, I'm literally just not even worried at all. Yeah, no, unfortunately, maybe bosses can't trigger it because we're not getting anything here. Pop the sun card now, because I've been... Unfortunately, I don't know if you noticed what was happening there, but there was, a, there was a bunch of creep underneath my creep, and I took damage like four times to it, <laughs> even though I, did, I couldn't see it. But the more I got hit, the more creep I created, which lowered my visibility even more. I like getting rid of the hands, because that reduces the uh, uh, chance of him doing some more of his annoying attacks. I don't know what I was hoping by using that dude, but I tried. There's a HP up. Gimme, give gimme give a bit of healing. Bell of Circles, even though I don't know what happened there. He, I, I got the unlock before I killed him. Weird. We do have Delirium to go for. Let's do it. Why the hell not? Let's hope we can get through this quickly. Cause as I said, I was supposed to leave the house like quite a long time ago now. I mean, the rooms themselves luckily will be very, very quick. It's just going the right way, which is problematic. I've never been able to do that in my life. Dagger boys. No, thank you. Chariot. Okay, we're going to be triggering cards like crazy now as well. Oh, dude, it's so good. Don't know where the fuck that came from. Extra hearts there, lovely. Yeah, I wish I had a bit more guidance on where the hell to actually go with this uh, floor, but you never get to know, do you? Looking for items and chests, but otherwise I don't particularly care. Doubt this is going to be delirium, but it... it Small chance it is. Right. You've got HP for us. Whoa. Again, I could be popping Havoc Vault like crazy here to get even more HP and stuff, but it's just a lot of hassle and a lot of extra time for stuff that we don't particularly need. That's the way to do it.
Good. Good old kingpin. How'd I miss? I gotta say, I missed every shot on that guy. Can't hit it! Fuck. There you go. He killed himself. That that kind of works for me. Judgment isn't what I was expecting either, but I'll take it. Just a bit of contraband. Oh, wait. Contraband swaps as well. Nice. I didn't think about that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> My bad. This won't be delirium. It's just little old blue baby. I almost like went through a whole phase then. There you go, nice. Little old blue baby is good to go. We'll take this because Joyful can give you double damage, which I think is pretty darn good. Grab one of those. Nice. Give me a few red hearts, game. You know you want to. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, what the fuck? Very glitched floor tiles there. Better be open in the chests right now, just for the chance at red hearts. Speed down isn't what I'm particularly looking for, though. Oh my god. Okay, I've taken quite a bit of damage here at this point. This isn't great. There, there is a ton of HP back and around everywhere, so I could go back for it all if I really wanted to, but I was gonna say, I'm hoping that I just get drops with where I am. I'm really annoyed at my current very low speed. Unfortunately, Binge Eater does make your speed problematic. Good old conquest. Lovely. This could be delirium. Eh, actually, no, I don't think it can. Good, good. 4.5 volt. One second. Yeah, I don't really know where to go for 4.5 volt here. I'm just going to take the HP because 4.5 volt is good, but obviously it comes with sort of a bit of a caveat that we need an active that's going to be useful to have it with, which we currently don't. I'm liking the, the, the boss density we've got going on right now. Ah, the sun is very nice here. Good old bloaty bloat bloat. I'm pretty sure we are coming on delirium right here. Pretty sure this is him. Yes, here it is. Right, so obviously we don't want to get hit too much, but we can afford to get hit a bit. Do you know what? Do you know what? Something I'm, I'm really not liking is this item that makes us into a fountain. Like damage-wise, it's good, but visibility-wise, it's fucking horrendous. It's so hard to tell what's going on once that triggers. So that's gonna be a quick delirium kill there. Very, very nice. Oh, I hope you guys did enjoy this run. We actually managed to make it work in the end, but the, it's a slow start with this character. It really is. We we really struggled until we got something good going on. But there you go. Let's jump in the chest and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.